Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're looking at using Contentful, which is a content management system, within an ASP.NET Core website. Uh, so this gives us a nice split between our website and the data that it's displaying. We're gonna use a, um, a credit card as, as the example here. So we'll, we'll be pulling out a couple of credit card images and putting them up on our web page. Uh, before we jump in though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click on that subscribe and alert bell icon below uh, and you'll get updates for new videos as they come out. All right, let's just jump in. The first thing we want to do is to go to the Contentful website. So uh, if you just search in Google for Contentful, um, you can come in here and then we just need to sign up for a free account to start with. So I've added some details down in here and I'm just going to click on the uh, sign up. So let's just say .NET for this one and other other. It's pretty good. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds just to submit here, uh, but then we should have an account and, and with that free account we can create two um, spaces. Uh, so within each space you can have various um, content, but uh, you've got to start paying for it after that. All right, you'll be presented with this page to start with, and we want to select the I create content. That allows us to, to add, add things like images in there. And it will create an example project for us. Again, this takes a couple of seconds. We'll just wait for this to complete. We're not going to use this one. Uh, we're going to create our own, as I said before. All right, so once you're logged in, you're going to be presented with this page. So it's got the example project in here, which is so we're not going to look at that. We're going to create our own one. So um, at the top here, we can see the example project. So if we click on there, we can then create a new space. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to say, and again, you get two. Um, and we're going to call this one a shot of code. And we'll create an empty space there, that's good. And confirm, all happy with that. So within this space we can create um, a content model, which is kind of a template um, for the data that we'll hold. So again, at the top of here, we've got a shot of code space now. Um, and here's our home page. And then we can move over here to content model and de define that template. So let's add a content type. Now, as I said, we're going to be doing credit cards. So this is going to be a credit card. And we're going to create that there. And now that we've created that, we've come into this page here where on the right, we can see we can add fields to this. So we're going to be adding things like um, which bank is the credit card from? How much does it cost? Uh, and what type of credit card is it? Is it a Visa or a MasterCard or whatever? Um, so let's let's add those fields. We can click on add fields. You get various um, uh, field types. Um, so we're going to start with a text for the title, and this is going to be the issuer. Okay, and we can just say create on there. That's fine. And then we'll have a number for the fee. And we'll click on create there again. And we'll do one more field. Um, and this one was going to be the type. So we'll have a type there as well. Okay, so we've got our three fields. Um, that So that is our template. And then we want to create some actual content. So we move across to the next tab here, which is the content. We click on that. Uh, we want to save our template. That's fine. Um, and then we can start adding credit cards in here. So let's say we've got one from uh, ANZ. And that one costs $100 a year and it's a Visa card. Okay, you'll notice in the top right here it's saying draft at the moment. So we just click on that and we can say publish and then that that means it's accessible from clients calling into Contentful, so from our website essentially. Um, but we've added that entry and I wanna then go top left up here and go back, because then I can come into the overview of the content and do add another credit card. And so we'll have another one here 
and this will be West Pack. And this one costs $200 a year, and it's a MasterCard. Okay, and again, we're just going to say publish on that, and those two cards should be set up for us. Um, okay, uh, we might add a, an, an image in onto each of these. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. But that that is setting up our data within Contentful. Um, and now what we're going to do is move into uh, ASP.NET Core and create the website and use the, an API to, to pull that information into the website for us. So let's jump into that. Let's go and create a .NET MVC application. So we'll do a .NET new uh, MVC and that should scaffold that there for us. Uh, and then let's go well let's let's go into the code here so we'll open up VS code and here's our, our application so we're just gonna have a simple controller and a simple view um, in there okay just adding that that's fine right I'll jump in and bring up the tutorial on the content on contentfuls page that we'll be uh, using as the basis for this so if you do a search for contentful and tutorials asp.net core then you take the link there and you should come to a page like this which will give us quite a few of the um, the steps that we need to do all right, so scrolling down here, what's the first thing? Here is the package that we are going to install. So it's the Contentful ASP.NET Core package. So I'll come back in here and we should be able to add that in. I'll let that carry on there. That should be all fine. Okay, and what we need then is um, we need our keys to allow us to access the Contentful data. We don't want anyone to be able to access it, so only those who've got the uh, required access keys can do so, and we're going to need to add those into our project. So in our app settings file, I'm going to add, just paste in what they had there, and we'll go into Contentful and grab these pieces of information. So the first one we need um, is the space ID. So as we said before you can have two spaces in contentful for free and you have as many as you want when you pay um, but ours is the credit card space and that's got its own id so if i come back into contentful and go over to settings then in here down to api keys and in here it's generated some example keys for us and we can use these ones so here's our space id so i'll copy the space id and come back in here and we can paste that one in and then our uh, content delivery API so I copy that one and that goes into the delivery API key and then we need the preview API key uh, that one here there and the management API is to allow you to go and make changes to your content so we're not going to do that in this one we're just going to be viewing information but if you're going to change or add the data in your CMS in Contentful then you're going to want to add this key in as well that might be another video okay so let's let's now set up what we need in here so we need to be able to get hold of the Contentful client so in our startup we're going to make sure we're using contentful.asp.net core and then in our configure services we're going to do services.add contentful and we're going to pass in our configuration uh, and it will look in there for these values that we've specified and pull out the keys and then make a call to Contentful and we'll either get a connection or not, as long, depending on they're correct or not. Um, so this gives us our dependency injection. We'll now be able to use the Contentful client 
within our application. So if we go into the home controller and we'll put another um, contentful dot uh, core in here, which gives us access to that, um, that class. And in our constructor, we're going to want to put I contentful client and we'll call that client. So as part of the dependency injection, we'll get one of those now into our class. So we'll store that off in underscore client. And in here, we'll say underscore client equals client. Right, so when our class is created, we've got an I contentful client. And on our main page, we're going to try and make a call to this now. Now it's going to be um, an asynchronous call. So we just need to update this method to be async, like so. And then I can say, um, so var, and we're going to get a credit card. So we'll say var cards equals, and then we'll use our clients, our contentful client, and we'll call a method called get entries. Now, get entries does allow us to specify uh, an object that will be populated with the data. So it'll kind of do like model binding for us. So we're going to specify a credit card object here. And we'll go away and define that now. Uh, when we view our view, we're going to want to pass that, that cards model in. So let's go into models. And we'll create a new file in here called credit card. And we'll just update this. And what have we got? We've got an issuer. There's one of the properties we've got. Um, they'll all be they'll all be strings. I can't let me let me remember what we've got. Let's go back into our um, content and have a look at one of these. Um, so we've got issuer, fee, and type. Now I think the fee was a uh, a number wasn't it if I go to the content model and look at credit card yeah so we got two texts and an integer for the fee so let's match that so we'll have an integer for the fee and then we'll have um, the type which was a string as well all right, now, so as our model now matches the data in Contentful, it, it can populate that for us, which will give us a nice, uh, strongly bound object there. Um, credit card models, yep, okay. So let's come back in here, that's now fine. Um, this one is complaining because, yes, and th thankfully it is complaining, we need an yeah, await on our call here, because that's a sync. All right, so in our controller, we're going to be able to get those cards now um, and pass them into our view. So let's go into our view, home view index, and we're going to want to set up our model. And that's going to be a contentful collection of credit card, like so. And we need to let it know what that um, what that content or collection is. So we need an at using and contentful uh, dot core dot models like so. And with that in place, we can then iterate over this model now. So if we do a for each and um, var card in model. And so what can we do? Let's have, let's give each one just a little header and we'll do at card dot issuer and type and fee. I'll just put a, just put a header in here, credit cards. Okay, so 
If we look in here, we're going to have a model that contains all the cards passed in. Then we're going to iterate over each of them and display the information for each card. So we should get all uh, all three of them there. Right. Let's save. Let's save all of that off. Um, like that. And is that good? Can we try and build it? Don't have build. All right, so build succeeded. Let's do .NET run. It looks as though it's up. So if we go to local host 5001, is it 5000? No, just 5000 actually. Okay. We can allow it to proceed through that. All right, so what have we got? Credit cards. Uh, so we've got the Westpac one, which is a MasterCard and costs 200. And the ANZ one, which is a Visa and costs 100. Probably just want to make that look a little bit nicer. So uh, bank and type and fee. Give that a save. And run it up again. We almost almost want just a little space in there, don't we? Let's do that. Okay, that should be up and running. Okay, so just you know, it's not format great, but it's a little bit better. Um, but that is showing that we are pulling in this information from Contentful. Now this gives us a lovely separation between the data and the website. You know, if we want to if we want to change our website from ASP.NET Core to say using um, Angular or Gatsby or or anything else, we haven't got all of the um, you know all of the information about the cards embedded in there it's going to be a lot easier to to bolt on a, a new website on the front there you know when we're upgrading uh, that makes that path uh, a whole lot easier uh, so there you go using contentful in asp.net core hope that was useful uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, thumbs down if you didn't and uh, don't forget to subscribe for new videos thanks very much for watching uh, see you next time bye